Okay, look how great this is. So when you want turkey for Christmas, and there's just a few of you, you just put it in this pan. You've got your carrots, your beets, your sweet potatoes, and then my favorite secret trick, your stuffed Cornish hen in a stuffed turkey. It makes the holidays merry and bright. Then you have your canned asparagus and your baked potato. It's just gonna all turn out so good. Can't wait. Can't wait to eat it. Can't wait. Can't wait to eat it. Can't wait. It's exactly what you think it is. It's stuffed. Doesn't that look good? Would you look at this? Incredible. So we've got our carrots and potatoes and asparagus, sweet potatoes, beets, and don't forget about our secret surprise that we're gonna need to cut out. But doesn't this look like such a beautiful turkey? I can't wait. Oh, perfect skin. That's that olive oil on the top. Oh, this is just the perfect for a couple of people. But these sweet potatoes. Yeah, so this was cooked for a good amount of time. These are perfect. So everyone's gonna be like, they're all just gonna be too mushy. No, they're not. This is absolutely perfect. Let's take a look at these beets. These beets are gonna be oh, so good. They're cooked perfectly inside these turkey juices and these carrots. I love a crispy carrot on the outside and they're cooked beautifully on the inside. I think this is probably one of my favorite cooked. And then look at these asparagus. That's beautiful crispy top to it. Okay, let's cut this potato. Hot potato, two potato. That's a perfectly cooked potato. Wow, 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 wow. Great. Look at this. This is a perfectly cooked huge potato. And these onions. So this is what I like to do with these onions. I like to take these onions, put it right here. Oh, they're like little onion rings. They're absolutely perfect. Put it right there. Now this is how you eat my potato. Now let's check out the cook of this turkey breast. I'm not a huge turkey breast girly. Wow, that is the perfect cook. It's so juicy. So I like to cook this at a low temperature. My turkey cooked at 285 degrees for about four hours. And it's, I hope you can see it. I'll get closer for you. This is a very, very juicy turkey. Let's see if we can get into the, the dark meat, which is my favorite. Yeah, this is perfectly cooked dark meat as well. I think the turkey leg is probably the best part. Okay, now for the show you've been waiting for. We have to pull this sucker out. So the way I like to do it is I like to pull it out first. Ooh. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ah, it's like delivering a baby. Oh my gosh, okay, so these are cooked. You're gonna say, that means it's not cooked. Um, The coloring is just from the giblets. So it's cooked, I promise. Because look at this, wow. We delivered the baby. And you know what else we have to deliver? This is my favorite part. When you take the pear out, because um, guess what the pear did for the flavor of this Cornish hen? It just made it beautiful. So let's get this pear out and you can eat this pear for dessert. Look at that. What you gonna have for dessert? Look, my goodness. Look, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, the one thing we need to check on. Well, and that's some beautiful stuffing. That is some beautiful stuffing. Delicious. Put some gravy on here. Look at this juicy, juicy chicken breast. Delicious! Look at that. So that chicken was in there. Maybe I need to cook this one a little longer. That one might need a little bit more. But look at that. And the pear that was inside of it, right there, all came out into this beautiful one pan dinner. It's delicious. Yeah, I think I actually need to throw this one back in the oven. But the rest is fine. Yum. Okay, let's see how juicy this chicken is. Look at that. 
Right, that is some juicy turkey. Look at that juice in there. I love a juicy turkey. Easy. Few people, you might have some leftover turkey, but this is delicious.